In this video, I want to show you how important these uh, vector derivative identities can be. Um, I want to derive the existence of electromagnetic waves. So electromagnetic waves are light waves, uh, radio waves, x-rays. And um, the first time that we learned that these were uh, waves consisting of electric and magnetic fields is uh, during Maxwell's time. When Maxwell completed the uh, formulation of the equations that are now known as Maxwell's equations. So in free space, meaning that there's no charges, there's no currents, uh, Maxwell's equations can be written in terms of the electric field E and the magnetic field B. So the divergence of the electric field is zero and the divergence of the magnetic field is zero. Then the curl of the electric field is equal to minus the partial derivative of B with respect to time. And the curl of the magnetic field is equal to uh, the product of these two constants, mu naught and epsilon naught, times the uh, derivative of the electric field with respect to time. So uh, epsilon naught is called the permittivity of free space. It's associated with the electric field. And mu naught is called the permeability of free space. It's associated with the magnetic field. Um, these are the form of the equation in the so-called SI units, which are typically learned by engineers. OK, so to derive electromagnetic waves, what I need to do is to condense these equations into a single equation for the electric field. So how can we do that? Uh, well, if we consider, so this is the third equation. We look at the third equation, del cross E equals minus dB dt. Um, we want to eliminate B in favor of E. And to do that, we can use this fourth equation that the curl of B is related to E, the derivative of E. So we need to get the curl of B on the right-hand side of this third equation. So to do that, we can take the curl of both sides of this equation. So we would like to write the equation del cross, del cross E is equal to minus del cross uh, dB dt, okay? Um, this is just derivatives, right? This is uh, d dx, d dy, d dz. This is d dt. So um, uh, we can... Um, we can switch the order of derivatives because the uh, mixed partial derivatives are equal. So we can write that as minus um, d dt of del cross b. Okay. So all I'm doing then is equating the mixed partial derivatives. So each term has a time derivative and a spatial derivative and I just change the order here. If you don't believe me, you can write out the components and see that's all I'm doing. Okay, um, the del cross B we can now replace with the uh, right-hand side. The left-hand side is one of these vector identities. So it's the curl of the curl of E. So how, what is the vector identity? We can remember what the vector identity is. So the uh, curl of the curl of a vector field uh, has two terms. It's equal to, uh, you can look it up, right? So it's the gradient of the divergence of E and then minus the Laplacian of E, okay? Uh, that's one of our um, uh, vector identities. Okay, so we're using this vector identity on the left-hand side. We need to, uh, we can make use then of the um, Maxwell's equations. So the divergence of E equals zero. So this 
del dot e is just zero, right? Which is uh, very nice then. So we just have one piece. And then if I write this, then we have minus the uh, Laplacian of e on the left-hand side. And that's equal to minus d d t times del cross b. So we can use another, uh, the fourth Maxwell's equations here to eliminate b. So del cross b is mu naught epsilon naught um, d e d t. Okay. Um, two minus signs, mu naught epsilon naught is a constant. Uh, the, the time derivative of the time derivative is a second derivative. So I can, uh, you know, clear the minus signs and then I can put the uh, time derivative on one side. So then we get d squared e dt squared, right? And then uh, divide through by 1 over mu naught epsilon naught. So 1 over mu naught epsilon naught. And then we have the Laplacian del squared E. Okay? This is a wave equation. Okay? Um, this is one of the PDEs that I wrote um, when we started talking about the Laplacian. Uh, this one is the wave equation. We won't do that in this class, but this wave equation emits waves as solutions. And this term here is the, is the square of the speed. So this 1 over mu naught epsilon naught is c squared. So the speed of the wave is 1 over the square root of mu naught epsilon naught. Okay? Usually the speed of light is called C. This is the speed of electromagnetic waves. And then from measurements on um, in statics, electricity, and in magnetism, you can uh, have these numbers, and you end up with then three, about three times 10 to the eighth meters per second as the speed of light, okay? An amazing uh, result when it was first discovered by Maxwell, by these equations for um, electric fields and magnetic fields, he was able to derive a wave equation and then calculate the speed of light. Okay, so let me review. Uh, the purpose of this uh, lecture is to demonstrate the usefulness of these vector derivative identities. And in particular, starting from the um, field equations for electricity and magnetism called Maxwell's equations, using this del cross del cross E vector identity, we can derive uh, the existence of uh, waves uh, that have the wave speed of, uh, of light. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.